Here at the School of Physics and Astronomy, physicists are researching a theory that is out of this world, but in fact, it's very much about this world. They're looking into the gravitational effects of the beginnings of the universe. So you would be correct in thinking they deal with the larger massive, but in fact, their latest results sees them looking into tiny quantum fluctuations. Fluctuations, which means that particles which make up matter can just disappear and reappear somewhere else. This is because the surface of space is not flat, it's foamy. Now scientists believe that it is the surface of the universe that give particles their specific information. According to the theory, it's the surface area of the information center, rather than the volume contained, that give particles their specific output. This is the holographic universe. All right, the holographic principle tells us that the information content of the universe is really encoded in a two-dimensional surface, which is the horizon of our universe. Now, the fluctuation takes place on a very small scale due to quantum mechanics, and that fluctuation causes noise, and our detectors are going to be sensitive to the noise fluctuations due to quantum nature of space and time, and over the next six to eight months, the experiments that we are going to perform might be able to confirm this quantum nature of space and time. So just like a hologram, you can fit all your information in two dimensions, but see everything in three dimensions. Just like the image of me that you're seeing is actually 2D.